chains! For centuries we have been bound by them, servants to the so-called Great Machine. We have become pawns of our own devices. No longer! As the first in a trio of expansions, Beyond Light takes some bold steps in a new direction for Destiny 2. Whether it's the story's darker tone, the removal of legacy content, or our formerly exemplary guardians giving in and using the corrosive power of the darkness. In many ways, this is not the same Destiny 2 we've been playing for the past three years, and that can be very exciting. But Beyond Light also finds itself making some of the same mistakes all over again. With a campaign that's too short and an endgame that has you grinding the same activities ad nauseum, it can occasionally leave you feeling left out in the cold in a very familiar way. Beyond Light's campaign begins with a bang, as several planets in our solar system are blinked out of existence by Destiny's longtime evil, the Darkness. You're deployed to Europa in search of answers, but strangely enough, the adventure that follows is largely unrelated and frankly you never really find the ones you're looking for. Instead, you end up going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a particularly nasty elixir named Aramis, who's discovered a way to wield the awesome power of the darkness in the form of a cosmic ice called Stasis. This story is one of the strongest in the series, mainly because Aramis is the first Destiny villain to have clear and relatable motives that actually make her sympathetic. Many of Destiny's best characters also receive a ton of much-deserved screen time, including the Drifter, Varix, Eris Morn, and the Exo Stranger, who we haven't seen since 2014, but now takes the spotlight in a major way. And here comes our Guardian, right on time. And this time, she finally has time to explain. Like most Destiny expansions, though, the campaign ends too quickly at around six hours long, and it leaves you with plenty of loose threads that aren't likely to be addressed anytime soon. As a result, the fight with Aramis and her stasis-wielding army ultimately feels like a side quest in an epic odyssey that will take the next two expansions, and potentially beyond, to play out. Europa itself is a well-crafted frosty wasteland filled with darkness-wielding fallen and milk-filled vex that gives you plenty to grind for, but it offers few surprises. The most unique thing about Europa are the weather effects, which will regularly whip up a snowstorm that whistles in your ears and obscures your vision. During the campaign, these snowstorms are really cool immersive events that make you feel like you're fighting against the moon itself as much as you are Aramis's armies. But once the campaign ends and you're running around Jupiter's moon doing public events and patrol missions that you've already done a thousand times, the frequent whiteouts can get old pretty fast. To rise to the challenge of the new threats and grinds that await on Europa, your Guardian will need to embrace the corrupting force of the darkness, which unlocks a whole host of powerful stasis ice powers. With stasis, you gain devastating abilities that slow and freeze enemies, then shatter them into pieces, which can create chain reactions that lay waste to even daunting adversaries in one of the most thoroughly satisfying experiences in Destiny to date. It really can't be stressed enough how awesome it is to charge onto the battlefield with some icy space magic and turn an entire army into your personal crystalline statue exhibit and then blow it all up. As you progress through Beyond Light's endgame content, you'll unlock new abilities, aspects, and fragments, all of which allow you to customize your stasis abilities to fit your playstyle or tackle specific activities. For example, you can unlock grenades that seek out and freeze your enemies, or equip a mod that gives you super energy when you crack open a frozen baddie. Unlocking new stasis modifiers is an incredibly attractive incentive to push through Beyond Light's endgame grind. In typical Destiny fashion, that has you running strikes, playing competitive multiplayer matches in the Crucible, and unfortunately, hanging out with the Drifter in Gambit. The crown jewel of Beyond Light's endgame content is its new raid, Deep Stone Crypt, which brings your fire team to the birthplace of the robotic Exo race to stop the Fallen from using the technology against humanity. Like most Destiny raids before it, Deep Stone Crypt is a phenomenal, challenging undertaking that throws you into some of the most beautiful environments to be found in Destiny. With role-based puzzles that require intricate teamwork and communication, a pulse-pounding soundtrack full of bangers, and some truly memorable surprises, this raid isn't one to miss even for those who might normally be raid-averse. Deepstone Crypt is especially impressive in that, for the first time, it's a raid that tells a cohesive story with a beginning, middle, and an end that can be more or less understood without burying your head in a pile of grimoire entries. Destiny 2 Beyond Light is another solid expansion to the ever-evolving shooter that you know and love, but falls prey to the same content scarcity and repetitious grind it's always had. The campaign is short but enjoyable, and the raid is awesome enough to make the less pleasant, overly snow-covered parts of the grind worth it in the end. 
For more on Destiny 2, consider tuning in to IGN's weekly Destiny podcast, Fireteam Chat. New episodes are posted on IGN.com every Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific.